and the campus of UMBC was rocking. As students and fans gathered together for a watch party, George Solis has a reaction from the Retriever faithful. Retriever Nation standing tall Friday night. I oh, mean, everyone's excited as heck, you know. Making March Madness history. I can barely breathe. Like, I can barely breathe. I, can, I don't have words. Like, I don't have words. I'm so hyped for this right now. League showdown in the South as the University of Maryland Baltimore County men's basketball team took down number one seeded Virginia. A feat that's never been accomplished. Here on campus, the anticipation and excitement growing with every passing second as the retrievers get closer and closer to making history. But I never thought that it would be like this. Yeah, they're going to be surprised. We're so pumped. Pumped, especially as a team scored buckets at buckets of three. Fans also understand it when they don't. You can see that they're a little anxious. As you can see, they're missing some free shots. Even students not crazy about sports coming out to watch the Cinderella story. I thought we had a chance. Like this. I thought it would be completely the other way around. But no matter how stacked the deck was against them, loyal fans early on declaring victory and with good reason. We're doing a parade around campus right after this. <laughs> after we win this. Governor Larry Hogan likely very pleased as he not only had UMBC advancing but winning the whole tournament. And after this performance, who's to say the Retrievers can't? At UMBC, George Solis reporting for WJZ. Just about 3% of brackets in the ESPN Tournament Challenge had UMBC winning this game, while 18% had Virginia winning the whole thing.